Hello, I'm Sam from Transcription City and today we're going to make a video on how to download our desktop app so that regular clients can use their login and upload and download their work more easily to our website. Here's Stephanie with a quick tutorial. Hello, once again my name's Stephanie and today I'm going to be helping to show regular clients with us how to download their desktop app so they can easily upload and download their files with us. Okay, so first things first, once you confirm you're going to be a regular client with Transcription City, we'll send you an email that will provide you with a link to download the desktop app and also a login and a password for that. Okay, so here on the screen I've just got um, the link, so all you would do is just open your email and then follow the link to download the desktop app. As you can see it comes up with Java, you do need Java in order to use the desktop app if you have Windows 7. Okay, So once it's downloaded it will give you the option to run the software, so we just go straight to run that. And as you can see it comes up immediately. Okay, So then you just put in your login and password, so we'll say client1. And you will only have access to your password or anyone internally that you choose to give that to. Okay, so now you've got uh, tra the Transcription City desktop app installed onto your desktop. We're going to look at how to best use it to upload and download all your work to us. Okay, so when you first have the desktop app installed, you're going to have two default folders that will set up for you. The first will be for completed files. So this is where we'll upload um, any work for you to receive back. And the second will be for any files that you need to transfer over to us so that will include video or audio files or perhaps PDFs if you need any copy typing done. So first of all we'll look at how you can get your work over to us using the desktop app. Okay, So you would go onto the folder files to be transcribed and you would double click on it here. Now as you can see we already have a file in here. Now you can remove that if it's an older file that's already been done using the delete button and I'll show you how to upload a new file. So you're just going to click on upload there and we'll upload this audio file here. So if you just double click on that and then it will upload quite quickly. And there you go, it shows up here that it's been sent over to us. When you do upload any files onto your files to be transcribed folder, we will automatically get an email to say that, that that file is in the folder and needs to be transcribed. If you have a standard turnaround time, then your work will work to that. And if you don't, or if you have any specific requirements for that file, then you can just drop us an email as well to tell us any specific things we need to know. There is another way that you can actually upload files to us as well. So if we do that again, you can actually see that same file here on my desktop. You can actually just drag that over and do it that way. And that's um, that's slightly easier even than the um, first way, which was also pretty easy. But um, yep, you can just do it like that. And as you see, it will come up here. The next thing you'll need to do is obviously once you've uploaded that to us and the file's been completed, you'll need to collect your work. So you can do that by going into your completed files folder and you can download the work by doing this. You can just save it to your desktop. I've already saved that here earlier, so I'll just overwrite it and it will open up here. Also, um, you can just view the uh, Word file or PDF if you don't want to download the whole thing. If you just want to check it for consistency or anything, you can just view it here. It's the exact same file. Or otherwise, you can lock and open, which means you're not actually downloading it to your desktop, but you can make amendments and then save those. So let's say we wanted to change the date. We can do that by changing to the 9th of May, which is today. We can close and save that and then we can save and unlock which means that um, we can't edit it again it needs to be selected when you do that <laughs> so there we go we've saved the amendments that we've made and it shows you the new time you saw that change of the new updated file 
Okay, now um, in the other functions that you can use, if you do want to add any extra folders, then you're welcome to do so. You just click here and say new folder. Um, a good one to have is actually a template folder. If you have lots of letters or reports, surveys that you send over to us, um, rather than getting us to transcribe anything in our template and you have things to copy and paste, it can be easier for you if you just upload um, your templates to your template folder and then we can get those easily. Um, also, um, you can actually make folders for different colleagues, so if you're happy to share your login with colleagues that you work with, um, or any partners, other directors within your company, then you can obviously create a folder for them on files to be transcribed and completed files. Um, another thing to bear in mind is when files are completed, you will be, be sent an automatic email that will say that there is work in your folder for collection, just in the same way as we receive an email when you upload work. Um, the last option we have um, sort of on the on the simpler things you can do with the app is to share so here we can go to completed files so let's say you wanted to share this file with a colleague you can click on it here and then choose share there are two options for this the first is you can send it using my docs online and in this case you'll just type in an email address in this box and then any additional comments for instance um, please see attached so and so file from John Smith um, as urgent or whatever comment that you wish to put in that email um, that email will be sent from my docs online and um, there will be the recipient will be able to download the work from the my docs online website um, otherwise there is another option in which you can send a file using a link that you can just email to someone this is a good option if you're looking to um, you've already written a long email regarding the file that you want to send it can look a lot more professional if you just attach a link to that email just to keep everything together for future reference so you can just click that there and then you say OK and once you've done that you'll get this here this link and you can just copy and paste that into your email and tell your recipient to follow that link and they can immediately download that If you have any questions or you'd like any more information, you can always send us an email to info at transcriptioncity.co.uk or visit the website at www.transcriptioncity.co.uk. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.